Well, we're really looking forward to the start of the season. You know, coming off last year, we're 14 and six, and didn't go as far as we thought we did, even though we still had a great year and won 14 games. We're pretty optimistic about this year's team, even though we lost a good amount of our offensive guys and a couple of tackmen and a few middies who played well, especially Kyle Donofrio and Wade Corvin and uh, Brandon Watson. Uh, we're, we returned a core of really special players. JT Thielen, who led us in points last year, is going to be a junior coming back, and Kyle Karassian in the midfield, and Ethan. Christensen in the midfield are going to be some guys that can really help us in that area. But we do think the strength of our team is going to be us facing off uh, there with one of the best kids in the country coming back, and, that, and uh, Justin Brunetti, and then with our five senior defensemen that have all played a lot for us. Tom Brown and Dylan Harris, and uh, Don DeFazio leads that group, along with um, uh, Howard, Austin Howard, who's done just a tremendous job, and Joey Candon, who's could probably coming off the bench or could start. You know, we got five really good guys, and they're all going to be backed up by a really talented group of freshmen and sophomores that we have in here. You know, uh, Falco, Al Falco, who's done such a great job as a sophomore, you'll see a lot of times in the wings of faceoff, but we think we have three really talented uh, long poles in the freshman class uh, coming in. I think we can all see some time along with four fr freshman midfielders that we see, see some considerable time. We think so. We think we got some pretty good depth all around. We're going to be a little bit younger in that end of the field in the offense, but defensively we should have a good senior core, and we think we're a lot more solid in the goal with three solid keepers that we're really considering now. And we really want to do this as a group, as a team aspect. We've done that so far. I think we've been led, though, by our upperclassmen, but I think our underclassmen are really seeing how to play the Stevenson way, doing some great jobs, and we're really playing a team brand. So it's not one guy you know, drawing everybody and finding everybody. It's going to be more of a team aspect, moving the ball all around, especially with our attack. Uh, but I think we have some guys that are really good, and they can really help us out and go forward. And uh, So I think we're going to be more of a team concept there. Well, you know, our schedule's, you know, just like last year, is really good. You know, we think we play nine ranked teams throughout the course of the year. That's inside the top 20 right now. So for us, you know, is make sure that we really compete early on, starting out with Denison, then going to Gettysburg, and then playing Salisbury, and then we go to the class, the Mustang Classic, which is always a great go for us with Dickinson and York, and followed up by Tufts and Cabrini. You know, we got to do a good job early on competing and getting a few good wins there, which we think we can. You know, the way we play and how we're playing right now, we hope that we can get off to a good start here, but that's going to be important for us to get a couple W's early on to help our confidence going and then we get into the conference play but for us you know we got to really compete that's the I think that's the biggest thing and that's what this team has been so good at so far in the preseason practices that every day they're doing exactly what we want them to ask them to do they're competing and we're getting better each practice and that's all you can really ask for through a team the key success for us is that we just need to be better each and every day. One of the things that last year I thought we played up one game, down one game. This year we got to be able to be consistent from game to game, especially on the defensive end. You know, we got to be able to be a good team, play team defense in order to give our offense a chance at times. Because we are young there, so we're not going to be great every game. But I think offensively we can give ourselves a chance. We can get the 10 to 12 goals each game. That's going to give us a chance to win every game we're in, which we think we can do. I think we're a better shooting team this year, and that'll be the key for us is our special teams, face-offs, face -offs, special teams and shooting the ball over 35% for us this year is going to be key. If we can do those things, I think we're going to be in a real good situation come the end of the year.